ultimately, at the end of the day, I do not recommend that people move to Costilla County and other areas in the San Luis Valley. Now, several years ago, I saw this area in a different light. And as most of you already know by now, coming back to the San Luis Valley, coming back to Costilla County in fall of 2015, it was a very different experience. We've seen attacks on free speech, we've seen intimidation, we've seen people driven off their land, and other things, things I'm not even aware of. We've seen hundreds displaced, so they say in these new reports from the Pueblo Chieftain, things are cooling down in Costilla County. Yes, because hundreds are gone. Now, even though I had some harsh words for Vince Edwards, uh, because of the way that he talks to people, ultimately, I do want to say that, you know, what he is reporting on his end is fairly concerning on a number of different fronts with regards to his situation. He may have made some things worse for himself, but there are others that have not acted like Vince that have kept to themselves, that have also been told to leave. And so, you know, for the county, I mean, a little bit of empathy is what I've been asking for. It took some of us thousands of dollars to come here. And there's a lot of people that want to invest in Costilla County. And it's clear now that Costilla County is not the place for lower income residents. The county is changing. I heard that a permit for a septic is $1,000. That would be separate than the septic itself. And we're going to see in the next few years what's going to become of Costilla County with regards to special interests and the new growth that Costilla County will see after it pushes out a lot of the people that have migrated there recently. What I can also say in retrospect, first of all, what I covered on this channel was important. To me, it is history in the making. And it's not just about Costilla County, it's about what's happening in America because we're seeing these land code, uh, use changes happening and popping up and causing displacement, adding to the homeless problem. And instead of people developing solutions to homelessness, this us versus them psychosis is sweeping American communities by storm. And it's disheartening. It was disheartening to see people in another off-grid community get mad at me for sharing information about what's happening in another county. Maybe I'm doing that in some cases to remind people to be grateful for what they have. Not to get them involved in this, but be grateful for the safety, for the freedom, the protections that you feel on your property and not being disturbed. That is magical. And while I was able to grow up with that, for a certain number of years before I started moving around when there was still somewhat of a family structure. My grandfather was still alive and owned the property. You know, I was um, privileged to have that experience. And I saw my dreams shattered of residing in Costilla County and have gone through a fair amount of pain and relived trauma and hundreds of hateful comments on the YouTube channel. And to even be called a paid troll, not only by Devin, but by other community members that saw my coverage of Costilla County as being based in self-interest. As if, you know, the YouTube views, some of a few thousand views, as if that's making big money on YouTube. It's actually a few dollars here and there. For 10 years, I've been covering things on my YouTube channel. And I've traveled to different places, and that is what I do. I cover things. I talk about the econ economy, I talk about homelessness, I talk about this ramp up to a, a world war conflict. You know, I talk about human spirituality, having empathy for others, and understanding karma. What we do to others comes back to us at some point in some way, shape, or form. And these are really significant things to ponder. You know, for years, I've spoken against this whole hate all cops philosophy and psychology. That's why I'm not tied in with certain 
fringe groups. I do believe there is a role for police in our society to protect people from victim-on-victim -victim crimes, person-to-person -person crimes, and other things. Uh, but we're in a new generation now. We're in a new world. We're in a new world order where it is about tickets and extorting people. And people taking up these positions that seem to have no feeling for the people that they're hurting. For the people that they're prosecuting. And in the end, this hurts America. When you have this type of um, feeding on the population. And where are people to go? For some of us, there's nothing to go back to. And that certainly is the case with me with regards to Portland, Oregon. A place that's become dramatically overpopulated. The fact of the matter is there's been tensions and strife amongst humans for a long time. As long as there's mobility and migration and racial tensions, much of this in today's day and age manufactured by the boob tube. On Facebook today, it, you know, there's a new app where you can have the computer guess what your nationality is. I kid you not. And so I, I genuinely believe that a lot of this propaganda that uh, people are experiencing on social media is influencing their decisions. Again, it would be better for communities, states, and cities to look at alternatives to telling people to go on welfare or live under a bridge, especially if someone wants to live self-sufficiently. I made another video saying, you know, this is my advice. If you are determined to live in Costilla County, that is only for those with the money to do so. I really caution people against this popular way of looking at reality. I don't want to know what's going on. Don't tell me. So they just arrive in Costilla County and then they have that experience of having people come on their land telling them to leave. My reporting especially now at this moment, should be a warning. Don't move to Costilla County unless you have the money to play ball. Now, that doesn't mean that I can tell you where else to go. I'm still searching for those answers. And those answers don't come easy. I don't recommend even really hanging out around Taos or the Two Peaks, Three Peaks Mesa, a place I have never been. Uh, because I've seen what that place does to people. I've also seen what Costilla County has done to people that go out in isolation and remain in isolation. The problems that they went out there with don't necessarily get resolved. So in conclusion, there's a, there's a day and a time and a place. There's a time and a place where a place is feeling positive. And even Portland, Oregon, for many years, had that positive, cool vibe. And then it became oversaturated, overpopulated with a lot of scumbags. And I've talked about that a lot last year. I've also noticed how my environment is really dictating what I talk about. So it's been easier for me to focus on other things since leaving Costilla County. And I would say for the last time. Uh, but there's still a lot of pain there in my heart. And there's a lot of discontent, unrest within, knowing that there are people out there with cameras that are going through massive challenges, people that are on the internet, on Facebook, that aren't really writing about what happened to them. And I truly believe that if the people actually came together and put the stories together, we can actually potentially reach other people that can shine the light on the story. And maybe solutions could be could be uh, something that we come to. There's a police officer going by right now. He's doing his uh, he's got his speed trap going on. And I understand there's a need for police to maintain traffic laws, rules, and regulations to a point. Well, some could argue otherwise. I'm being fair and balanced here in a way that a lot of people haven't seen me, but. Is most of their time responding to assaults and people getting hurt, people being victimized? Or is it mostly revenue generation? 
and in some cases enforcing rules and regulations that force people into homelessness that force them back out onto the road. So this is, this is going to be a mounting problem over the next few years as more and more people see the no over parking signs at places around America and this does reflect on the American culture. And those are the things that I want to leave you with. This reflects on America. This reflects on society. It reflects on consciousness. Okay, if something is taking place that a large group of people believe and say is illegal, code is not law, for example, there should be a legal system in place to help people resolve things peacefully. You know, instead of there just being words and rhetoric and fake judges trying to infiltrate a off-grid movement and trying to steer it into the oxymoron of the sovereign citizen direction. We didn't need that derailment on the part of Roger Marsh and Bruce Doucette. And I know that Costilla County knows that in a way I did them a favor. I did everyone a favor by exposing Roger Marsh and what was going on there and differentiate myself early on from the stereotypes that Devin Pignon attempted to make, who the white supremacists, pot growers moving in. I came here as a single male with my RV, not on welfare, working for another guy's website that reaches thousands upon thousands of readers every single day. That is not something that was commonly seen years ago. So as a young man, I've adapted using technology, making money as I go on the road, creating content. And it feels like free speech, you know, an independent investigative reporting feels like, you know, this is something that is under attack. What the county saw was big words being thrown around by a poor excuse for a community that didn't even stick together. And now there's a backlash occurring. And I'm concerned for the new residents of Costilla County that are going to end up moving there. And they're going to walk into a whole world of hurt. And they're not going to have anywhere to go. And so it's really important as I close here that people understand, unless you're high dollar, stay out of Costilla County.